Aaron Chapman managed to get out of it, but it looked like he grimaced a couple times on the mound. Is he okay? I think he's okay, yeah. Um, you know, just fighting his command a little bit there. Um, you know, so we, a good job of battling through it and kind of figuring it out and finding it uh, on the fly there. But I think, I think physically he's fine. D does it worry you at all, though, that he's had a couple of hiccups? I know he's been so good prior to that this season. Yeah, I want to make sure we just get, you know, get to the bottom of it and, and um, get him lined up in line and, and uh, throwing the ball like he can. So, um, but physically, I do believe he's fine. Coming into the season, did you think Aaron Hicks was capable of 20 home runs? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we, saw, we started to see it last year. Um, this is a really talented player. Um, and it's it's quality at bats really from both sides of the plate um so a absolutely with him hitting 20 there are now four players on your roster that have 20 or more through 114 games in the season that's the first time it has ever happened in yankees franchise history is wow. that pretty remarkable considering some of the teams that this franchise has put out there yeah it really is when you put it that way and knowing what this organization has been and from a power standpoint especially um yeah that's that's a pretty impressive feat and uh maybe hopefully we'll get some more in there Aaron, in, in addition to the lack of command it seemed like chapman's velocity was down a little bit i mean he hit 99 once but he was sitting around 95 it's right. kind of unusual yeah I, I i do think it's a little more mechanical and him trying to kind of get his sights and find it though um maybe just a tick out of whack right now um so you know we'll dive into things uh you know between larry and hark and and chap and hopefully get to the bottom and get them get them corrected but i thought he did a good job of kind of mixing in his slider obviously there those last couple of hitters to kind of rein it in a little bit and and kind of grind through a tough one neil to the left you obviously obviously seen a lot of players over the decades who have a lot of power D do you still get amazed when you see how hard Stanton hits the ball? Yeah, I do. I really do. Um, you know, it's one of those. And, and in today's game, you know, you see it hit off the bat and everyone's just like taken aback and you're, all right, where's it going to land? And then you kind of go to the scoreboard and what's the exit velocity? And everyone's like, I, th I think that's the hardest one we've seen. So, yeah, it, it's, it really is amazing how hard he hits the ball when he, when he really squares it up. Kevin to the left. What kind of difference can he be a maker in uh, in like a short series down the road? You know, when we're we'll looking at October. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a superstar player with that. You know, one swing of the bat. You know, as as much or more than anyone in our sport changes the game um you know and, and when we're really whole as a lineup you know it's just another massive presence that you have to work through and and you know part of what we're built on is is the depth and length of our lineup and that it's a challenge to go through it over and over again and he's one of those major challenges that again even even when you get him out or you're getting our guys out uh you know hopefully we're making it very difficult on you hopefully it's stressful and and you know over time you hope that nets you nets you a few more mistakes Bryn, uh, the way walker's been hitting lately do you feel like you have to find more ways to get him into the lineup going forward considering um <laughs> i'm trying to find <laughs> it's not hard right now and the way we're beat up i mean i kind of you know I know what kind of hitter he is, so it's 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 nice right now when we are beat up, when you know he's going to be in there that he's uh, he's swinging the bat like like the Neil Walker we've seen most of his career and and uh, and and the other thing he brings is you know the position versatility, so the ability to move him around. We've even had him take getting a little bit of work in the outfield. He even popped up in a game in the outfield. So um, that versatility he brings, but also the hitter that's that's been this guy for, for much of his career. Um, yeah, you never know. You never know. Dan. Aaron, uh, you had Britton up. Yeah. Was that partially because of, of what Araldus is going through and not just based on him, you know, allowing two runners to start an inning? Yeah, you know, if if you know if he loses another one there with the walk or or looks like you know the control was really losing him, uh, you know, I, we would have we needed that Britain ready there, and and then not wanting to 
you know, get his pitch count out of whack either. So, um, yeah, it was just to cover us. But, you know, in case in case maybe he lost another hit or two, Zach would have been in that game. Given his history, Britain's history, would you maybe think about using him in a, in a, if it was a one-run game going right. forward while Araldis kind of figures this out? I don't know. We'll we'll kind of see, try and get to the bottom of and see what's going going with the and uh, yeah, I don't I don't necessarily see that. I I see save opportunities for Robbie and Zach while we're trying to kind of protect rest. You know, there'll be days like that, but no, not at that point where we necessarily just slot that in right away. Susan, how impressive was Jay Happ tonight? Really good. You know, we needed some length today, even though you know our you know the between Zach and um, Robbie and Dellen and Chappie, they were well rested coming in. But and Cole was an option for us. But you know we're down probably a couple guys that we really you know wanting to stay away from Sunny today and um, Green and Holder. So w we needed we needed a good outing from our starter tonight. And you know especially with Jay coming off the injury or or the virus, you know how do you respond from that? We, you know were hopeful and, and felt like he was in a good place physically because he's felt a lot better the last week, but you still never know how that's going to show itself. And I thought, um, I thought he did really well. You know, he wasn't perfect with his command, but you saw a guy that the ability to make pitches, you know, in, in different spots. And th there were a couple hitters where, you know, with the Gallo where he, you know, got the chase up. Um, nothing really phases him, you know, whether he, he's off for a hitter or um, is having success. He just kind of continues to just pour through his outing and, and execute pitches without um, really, he, there's no emotional deviance, I guess you'd say. He's just really, really steady out there. And, and uh, to give us six strong innings tonight uh, was, was just what we needed. Dan, did you get a, an update on Judge after he saw the doctor? Uh, I have not from the doctor yet, no. Anyone else? Thank you, Aaron. Mm -hmm.